you're being awfully quiet. Oh. I just don't have anything to say. I hope if Dad said something to upset you that you'd tell me. Oh, I'm not upset. I'm a little, uh, surprised. John gave me some advice. He told me that I should fight for you. Was he right, Jax? Am I going to have to fight her for you? I'm not sure what nerve I hit. I do not see the value of bringing up an occasion of horror or the years of misery that followed. There are things that need to be said. Why? For whose benefit? Look, I don't want your commiseration. I loathe pity, self-inflicted or otherwise. And I refuse to pull poor me on you. Who said you were? I am trying to get through to you. I am fine. Totally and completely fine. You know, you just got done telling me how you've changed your life. Why can't you respect that I've done the same? You know, I think denial is enormously underrated. I've been living there for years. And I think it's a pretty decent place to be. No arguments here. I've been living in denial ever since I thought you died. Only now I have a chance to come out of it. And when I do, if you never speak to me again, I'll understand. Dad was wrong. You don't have to fight for me, Brenda. You have me. Do I really? I came back from the dead and found the dearest friend I ever had. And nothing he could possibly say could make me give up the joy of speaking to him again. Nothing. Miranda, I'm the one who killed you. I set the explosion. I set the explosion. You? You were nowhere near there. Yes, yes, I was. And everything that happened to you and to your face and to your life is my fault. And I am so very, very sorry. I've had to live with the guilt ever since. I thought I killed you. But now I see I only cost you and me years of our lives. Dad was wrong. You don't have to fight for me, Brenda. You have me. Do I really? Yes. I'm here with you, not her. For now? Forever. You must be exhausted. I'm going to order some food and then you should try and get some sleep. No. Not avoiding me any longer. Look. Dad's fate is in the hands of God and the doctors. But our fate is up to me and you, here and now. Look, there must be a million things going through your head right now. You probably want to scream or cry or hit me. Look, go ahead. I deserve it. But for God's sakes, tell the truth. Oh. You want me to tell you the truth? That's a really good idea. But I think it's probably a little late, don't you? I'm sorry, I don't want to lash out at you right now. Don't you dare apologize. That's for me to do. Our wedding day should have been a thing of beauty. There are so many things that I wanted to say to you. Just swear before God and our family and friends. I know, I found the vows. Did you read them? Yes. But you know how much I love you, Brenda. I did when I wrote those words, and I do now. <sighs> Nothing has changed. Jax, come on. I mean it. Did you tell me the truth when you told me how you felt about me? God, yes. Truth is really important in a relationship, isn't it? How could you not have told me about her? 
You caused the explosion? That's right. When did you start working for the family? After I stopped working for you. Look, I had to make a lot of money real fast. I had big plans. So, so it was all about money? Of course. Why am I not surprised? Isn't everything about money? You must despise me. No. I'm just really very sad. Did Jax know that you were involved in this? Yes. And he didn't try to kill you? Yeah, I think he wanted to. Tell me. Miranda, I swear to you, no one thought anybody would get hurt. The plan, the plan was to create some simple property damage. To send a message to a rival. Clean and easy. I did my part. I set the explosives. I left no evidence. And I was in my car, all set to make a clean getaway. Then all of a sudden, the car was coming at me about 100 miles an hour. It was Jack's. It was too late. The next thing, a fireball lit up the sky. I don't remember that. And he slammed on the brakes, and went into a skid, and almost went off the road. Then he came at me. Miranda! And I realized what I'd done. And it wasn't a job. It wasn't a lark. I had just killed someone that I knew. I lived with that belief ever since, until now. So set up by you. You were married and you didn't bother to tell me you left me open to be blindsided on my wedding day. I didn't tell you I was married because I didn't think I was. Jax, I understand that you thought she was dead. But don't you think it might have been a little bit important for you to let me know when you were saying your wedding vows to me that it wasn't going to be for the first time? I mean, what did you think, that I wouldn't be interested in that? Or was it just that you didn't trust me enough? I should have told you. I, I tried to tell you. When did you try and tell me? Was it the night that your parents were here? Yes, and then your parents left and they went home to their suite, remember? And they left us alone. And you didn't tell me then. I asked you what was bothering you. And I told you that I loved you. And that is so true, Brenda. And I believe you. I want you to tell me how much you love your other wife. I shouldn't have told you. It's all right. She's been through enough. You don't need my guilt. Is there more? Not much. We, uh, we searched for your body. But we didn't find anything. It wasn't surprising. The fire was so big, the people in the next town could see it. I don't understand how you survived it. Neither do I. I just remember coming to in the hospital and John was there. I don't want to get into that. Finish. I, uh... I was in a fog for weeks, you know. I, uh... I didn't know what to do. I went down to that billy bog we found. I figured if your spirit was anywhere, it would be there. And I... I kept asking for your forgiveness over and over and over again. I never thought I'd get a chance to ask for your forgiveness in person. But here you are. too selfish a question to ask, isn't it? I mean, if I can't forgive myself, how can you? Mac, of course I forgive you. I know you. We were friends. You would never hurt me intentionally. 
But I did, Miranda. No. It was fate. Bad luck. I'm so sorry you've had to live with such guilt for so long. I should, I should have been there for you, to help you after. You know, I hate the thought of you being alone. I had nurses and doctors. And John and Jerry checked on me. I was so caught up in my own pain and grief. I just thought it was better if everyone thought I was dead. Now I'm not so sure. See, I'm not the only one who suffered. Tell me about Jax. Did he suffer too? She's dead. You don't have to remind me that. It's not like I can forget. Ten thousand dollars. Now her life is worth to you. You're drunk, Scorpio. Let me speak, Dad. I want to hear what he has to say about my wife. What? <laughs> All right, that's enough! Get that away from him! I'll never forget this. Neither will I. Apparently, Jack's coped. It's pretty clear he's moved on. We all did. Or tried to. All I ever wanted was to save everybody a lot of pain. I didn't do a very good job, did I? I saw the way you looked at her. In the fire when you realized who she was. And I watched you run after her. Jax, I saw you hold her in the garden. I can't believe this. Your face is different in your eyes. My God, Miranda, you're alive. I should go. No. No way. Jax, this is your wedding. You are my wife. That took me years, but I finally, I finally accepted it. I'd never hear your voice again. I feel the touch of your hair against my cheek. That's what I wanted. I wanted you to forget about me and move on. And Sonny Corinthus showed up. And I knew that if he could find me, so could someone else. And I had to be the one to tell you. If you ever had to know. That's why I came. It's the only reason. And now it's done. And I'll be leaving. expect me to let you just do that and pretend that this moment never happened yes you're insane don't make this any harder than it is I love her. Oh, 
were just kids when we got married. We were spontaneous and outrageous. But you loved her. The details aren't important. Details are important to me because I'm trying to figure out what was so big and scary about this so you couldn't tell me about it. Brenda. When I fell in love with you, Miranda was gone. Dead. It was history. Miranda and I, we belong to another time. Not anymore. She's here now. Yes. Now that it's all out on the table, we can move on. Where do you want to move to? Where are we going to move to to get past this? I mean, how far would we have to run, Jax? Even if I could, I don't even know who I'd be running with anymore. Me. The person that I've always been. Oh. Ned was right. He told me that I was going to have to accept everything about you and know you. And now I know what he was talking about. I never would have thought that you could keep a secret like this from me. I've made mistakes, so have you. But I am who I am. What you see. Who you love. Do you know how much I wish that I could just accept that and be a good little woman and not ask any questions? I was actually going to try and do that, but you know what? I'm not going to do that because that is not who I am. And that's not who I even want to be. I want details and I want facts and I want to know every single reason why you never told me about her. Do you even know how I've been feeling for the last few days? I've been going crazy trying to figure out why you wouldn't tell me something like this. And the only reason that I could come up with is that you knew. You knew that if you told me that I would be able to look into your eyes and see that you'd never gotten over her. And that this whole time, you've been in love with a dead woman. Are you all right? No. How can I be after all the lives I've turned inside out? How did you end up here? Some people said I had a death wish. The more dangerous the job, the better. I was hired to uh, blow up a ship in the Port Charles Harbor that yielded you, Tracy. I didn't expect to survive it. But I did. And I was pulled from the water by my brother Robert, who had been lost to me for years. I found my family again. And I became guardian to my niece when my brother and his wife died. I'm so sorry. It's good that I found him. I mean, for the first time in a long time, I had a home, an anchor. And I was responsible for another human being, even though it scared me. Well, I'm glad something good came out of my death. You know, there's no point in me staying here. Please don't say that. Unless you're that angry with me. No. Miranda. You walk back into my life alive. Please don't ask me to watch you walk out again. Not now. It makes total sense. You didn't tell me about her because you always loved her. And you never got over her. And now she's back in your life and she's alive. Jackson, don't 
You'll make me ask you again if you still love her. Hello. It's about your father. <laughs>